it finally works. Okay, I should probably turn this off before this catches fire. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to my bad channel. So I figured I should probably release something since, you know, last time was like two weeks ago. But never mind that. <laughs> I got some individually addressable LEDs, cause why not? And they managed to come early from China, so that's a plus. Now I have no idea how this is running, cause that power supply can only supply a quarter of what these LEDs are supposed to be using right now. So, well, I might be ripping a hole in space time. Now, I haven't really decided what to do with these yet. I mean, I could make my room lights a bit better. Hey, robot assistant, turn on my sleep lights. Now, I could fix this a bit, but I think I'm just gonna make the world's worst monitor. Now, I need one of these sheets of diffusion from a TV, and I managed to find one reasonably cheap. Now I could have just used paper, but you- What does that sound? Oh! I think it's time for a completely normal build montage. I changed my shirt. No, it's not because it's the next day. What do you think, I'm slow? Well, the thing's done, and it actually looks surprisingly decent. Now, I just have to learn programming, cuz... Well, here it is in all of its glory. Honestly, it's so mesmerizing just looking at it. And the fact that I didn't put, like, dividers between all the LEDs made it like blend perfectly together and it just it's just you can stare at it for hours. Now I haven't really figured out how to actually put anything on it yet so also I have like a Wi-Fi version of an Arduino so I might be trying to program this in the future with like I don't know a subscriber counter or like just being able to turn it on remotely but for now it can go on the wall. Well thanks for watching and here's a little montage. <laughs> 